Hi there, I'm Cassidy, and today I'll be taking you through a 25-minute feel-good yoga flow. This class is meant to energize you, and I invite you to have some fun throughout today's class. If you make a mistake or fall out of a pose, know that it is 100% okay. You can also personalize this practice as much as you'd like to make it feel good in your body. If you have blocks or something similar, like some sturdy books, those might be helpful in our practice today, but no worries if not. Remember to like this video if you enjoy today's practice, and subscribe to my channel for free yoga classes every week. Let's get started. We'll begin our practice today in Hero's Pose. So for Hero's Pose, we're just sitting onto the heels, but we have some options here. So if you have blocks or something similar that you're using today, you have the option to place one or two blocks underneath your seat and see how that feels. You can also just find whatever comfortable seated position feels good to you if this pose isn't working in your body. So once you feel nice and comfortable wherever you're at, just bring the hands gently onto the lap, roll the shoulders back, Lift the crown of the head. Maybe the eyes come to close. Take a big breath in through the nose. Fill the belly up. Exhale, sigh it out. And smile. We'll find stillness here for just a little bit. Taking some time to check in with the body. Notice how you're feeling today. You can spend some time focusing on the breath, slowing it down a little bit, taking nice long inhales that fill the belly, and long full exhales. Feel yourself sitting up a little bit taller with every inhale, feeling awakened, alive, energized, and set an intention for your practice today. How do you want to feel on the mat? And maybe not only in our practice, but maybe you find an intention, a feeling that you can carry with you throughout your day. Take a big inhale, sealing in that intention. Exhale. Start to blink the eyes open. With your inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, heart center. Let's find that once more, linking the breath to the movement. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up once again, this time interlacing the fingers and then flipping the palms up to the sky. From here, just stretch side to side, back and forth, maybe take some circles. Just finding a nice big stretch here, like you're waking up in the morning. And then release the hands to the sides. Start to roll the shoulders forward, making nice big circles. And then switch directions, take those circles to the back, starting to release some tension in those areas of the body that often hold a lot of it if we're sitting at a computer or a desk during the day. Just return to neutral, 
can shrug the shoulders out a little bit. Then we'll just take the neck side to side, slowly bringing the ear to each shoulder. And return to center, take the neck back and forth. Take any final wiggles you need here, and then we'll make our way into tabletop. So onto all fours, engaging the core here nice and strong. Take an inhale, drop the belly, look up, cow pose. Exhale, round the spine, look to the belly button for cat. Inhale, drop the belly, cow pose. Exhale, round the spine for cat. Close your eyes, take some cat cows on your own breath. Feeling free to add in any intuitive movements, anything that your body is asking for. And you can play around here, have some fun, smile. Maybe it's hip circles or looking from side to side. Maybe you take some wrist stretches. Just see what feels good. And as you're ready, just coming back to your neutral, still tabletop. From here, right foot is gonna come out to the side. The toes point out. 90 degree bend in the knee about and then we're just going to swivel the hips around creating some circles feeling that opening through the hips so stir it up and switch directions as you feel ready and then just come back to tabletop this time left foot comes out to the side toes point out creating about a 90 degree angle with the knee and then just pick one direction to create some circles, swivel the hips around. They don't have to be circles, you can find figure eights, whatever's feeling good. Switch directions when you're ready and work your way back into tabletop. This time we're gonna shoot the right foot all the way out to the side, straightening out that leg. Take an inhale, use your core strength as you lift the arms all the way up. This is our gate latch pose. From here, right hand will come onto the right knee. Left arm reaches up and over. Look up to that top hand, finding a side body stretch. Big inhale. Exhale, inhale, reach both arms back up. Exhale, plant the hands, tuck that right knee back in. Good, just resetting in tabletop. Let's find that pose on the other side. So this time extending the left leg out to the side, toes point forward. Take an inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, left hand to the left knee, right arm reaches up and over, feeling that opening, that expansion. Take one deep breath on your own. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, plant the hands, come back to tabletop. And from tabletop, tuck the toes under, send the hips up and back, coming into our first downward facing dog. So once you're here, just pedal the feet out, finding some movement, starting to wake up through the backs of the legs. And then find stillness in your downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step the feet to meet the hands, forward fold. Take an inhale, hands come to the shins, find a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. 
From here, we're gonna interlace the thumbs to create a butterfly shape with the hands. And then inhale, puff the chest up, finding a little back bend. Nice big stretch here, inhale. Exhale, relax the hands by the sides. Mountain pose. And we'll find two sun salutations together. So take an inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, extend the arms. Exhale, forward fold, dive down. You can keep the knees bent here if that's feeling good. Inhale, lengthen the spine, hands come to the shins, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, step back to your high plank. Always an option to drop the knees. Inhale, shift forward a little bit. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way down. Whatever variation of Chaturanga works for you. Inhale, shine the heart forward, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press the hips up and back. Coming back into downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step the feet to meet the hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Let's try that one more time, allowing the breath to guide you through this as you flow, smiling, reminding yourself of that intention. Take an inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, bring the hands back to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up. Maybe you find a little back bend. Exhale, forward fold, dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, plant the hands, step back to plank. And this is the section that we call our vinyasa flow. So inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower half or all the way down, chaturanga. Inhale, shine the heart forward, cobra or up dog. Exhale, making your way back to downward facing dog. Good, inhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop the feet to meet the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms back up. Exhale, forward fold. This time, just step the feet right back into downward facing dog. Once again, maybe you're finding movement here if that's what's calling to you. Maybe you're finding stillness. Wherever you're at, take an inhale, reach the right leg up, three-legged dog. And then bend the knees, stack the hips, open up. You can take some knee or ankle circles at the top. Good. Inhale, straighten out that leg. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands at the top of the mat. And rise all the way up, lifting the arms overhead, finding crescent lunge. Take a big inhale. Exhale, we'll open up the hips and find warrior two. Front heel is in line with the back arch. Shoulders are relaxed. We're looking over the front hand. Take an inhale, reach forward, flip the front palm. Exhale, bring it up and back, reverse warrior, big inhale. Exhale, back to warrior two. From here, we're straightening out the front leg and then reach all the way forward. Once you can't reach anymore, right hand comes down to maybe a block, maybe the shin, maybe the ground. 
Left arm is reaching up, head is looking up. This is our triangle pose. Feeling nice and lifted through those top fingertips. Take an inhale and exhale. From here, we're moving into half moon. So if you have a block, feel free to use it. It might come in handy, but place the hand onto that block or onto the ground and then shift the weight into the right foot, lifting the left leg parallel to the mat. Left arm reaches up, finding some balance here. Maybe if the hand is resting on a block, you try lifting maybe just one finger at a time, maybe the whole hand. Good, find balance here, take an inhale. Exhale, slowly step back into warrior two, landing softly, but if not, that's okay. Inhale, sweep the left arm under, back to crescent lunge. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank, and flow through your vinyasa. Whatever that looks like to you today, maybe you just need to move straight back to down dog, Maybe you take child's pose for a breath or two. But as you're ready, we'll just meet back in downward facing dog and we'll find that sequence on the other side. Take an inhale, reach the left leg up, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, stack the hip, open up. Maybe you find some movement. Good, inhale, straighten out that top leg. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands and reach the arms all the way up, crescent lunge. Nice and strong, take an inhale. Exhale, opening up the hips, warrior two. Inhale, reach the front arm forward, flip the palm. Exhale, bring it up and back, reverse warrior. Feeling that opening through the side body. Take a big inhale. Exhale back to warrior two. Straighten out the front leg and reach all the way forward when you can't reach anymore. Left hand comes down to a block or wherever it feels comfortable for you. Right hand is lifting up, extending energy up through those fingertips. Take one deep breath in your triangle. And then maybe grabbing your block, whatever you need here. Maybe you even want to be close to a wall for some support. But making your way into that half moon, finding your balance. Taking one deep breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly step back to warrior two. Sweep the right arm under, crescent lunge. Exhale, plant the hands. And either flow through your vinyasa or just come straight back into downward facing dog, whatever you need today. Good, meeting back in downward facing dog. Take an inhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, reach the arms. Exhale, hands come to heart center. From here, we're going to move into tree pose. So starting by grounding into the left foot. And then we'll begin just by bringing that right foot into a kickstand. Option from here to bring that foot up onto the calf, or maybe you grab the foot and bring it all the way up to the thigh. Just trying not to rest it on the knee, but finding somewhere that works for you today. Where maybe you feel just a little bit challenged, remember it's okay to wobble and fall. Allow yourself to just get back into it and try again. In your tree pose, maybe you grow your branches. 
Maybe you sway side to side. You could even try closing the eyes. Just have fun with this pose. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release everything down and shake it out. Let's find our tree pose on the other side. Right foot grounds into the mat. Visualizing yourself sending roots into the earth as you lift up through the crown of the head. And then finding a spot for your left foot that works for you. So maybe it's on the calf, maybe the thigh, maybe a kickstand. And then just allow yourself to maybe find stillness here. Maybe play around a little bit. Having fun with this posture, just allowing yourself to explore whether this pose is completely new to you or you've done it a million times. See what you can notice within the body, how you might challenge yourself a little bit, and then just release, shake it out. From here, interlace the fingers behind the back. Take an inhale to open up the chest. Exhale, coming into a forward fold. And maybe the hands lift off of the back to intensify that shoulder stretch. Maybe not. Inhale, rise back up and then just release the hands. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. From here, just drop the knees for tabletop. Take a couple of breaths to find maybe some cat cows or maybe just some intuitive movements, just seeing what your body is asking for. Then return to stillness and make your way to a seated position with the legs long in front of you. Reach the hands towards the toes, engage the core, and then as slowly as you can, roll all the way down onto the back. So really taking your time. One last bit of core work. And then once you arrive on your back, hug the knees into the chest. You can take some rocks side to side, back and forth. And then plant the feet on the mat. Palms are planted as well. With your inhale, lift up through the pelvis, through the center of the body, finding bridge pose. Take a big inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up into bridge pose one more time. Exhale and release. You can allow the knees to windshield wiper from side to side. And then hug the knees back into the chest. From here, grabbing onto the soles of the feet and opening up for happy baby. You can rock side to side. Try straightening one leg and then the other. Allow this to be playful, to be fun and childlike. You can smile. And then as you're ready, extending the legs long in front of you, and making your way into your final resting pose of Shavasana. Close the eyes, soften the jaw. Allow the full body to just relax and find stillness. Allowing the energy, the intention of today's practice to just wash over the whole body. Soaking in that energy as you find stillness for just a bit longer. Thank you. 
And you're welcome to pause the video if you'd like to stay here a bit longer. Otherwise, begin to bring some movement back into the body, wiggling the fingers and the toes, rolling out the ankles and the wrists, rocking the head from side to side. As you're ready, reach the arms up overhead, take a big full body stretch, arch the back, point the toes, smile. And then just bring the knees into the chest and rock up to seat it. Take your time. Just coming into a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Thank you so much for joining me for this feel good yoga flow today. And I hope you enjoyed this practice. If you did, be sure to like this video comment down below letting me know what your favorite part of our practice today was and make sure to subscribe to my channel for free yoga classes and videos every week thanks again for being here and have a great rest of your day